can share a few things that I I think about improvisation, I read yes. about improvisation, I can share about my practice, um, how I come across. But also I wish I've, I have a desire to make it more like a, like a dialogue. You know, we we are writing our history of this moment of what we share and how we share about improvisation together. Вот я могу поделиться тем, что я знаю про импровизацию, тем, что я выучила, тем, что я использую, но что? And actually, um, I was thinking to to start it to start together. Я хотела начать вместе, like collecting some words together that when we say improvisation. What comes to your mind or to your body? Sometimes it's coming from here, but sometimes you, you remember something if you have been doing the practice of improvisation, like if you have seen something or heard. Иногда может что-то что может появиться от головы, а иногда вы помните прям что-то из тела, если вы практикно были в ситуации импровизации или видели. So we can just do a collection like a pool. Так что, ну, как бы это как собирательное такое, мы можем набросать слова, которые у вас появляются. The most simple, whatever, the most obvious. It's... Самые простые, самые очевидные. So what is improvisation? Что такое импровизация? Фурия. Что надо делать? Надо делать так, как вы Ощущение того, что не нужно стремиться к чему-то конкретному, а для меня свобода в том, что я могу делать в этот момент то, что я хочу сделать именно в этот момент, а в следующий уже делать что-то другое, что захочется. Sensation that there is no goal, I should come to so I'm free to do something I want in this moment, and the next moment I might uh, want to do something new. So they may come, but not together. <laughs> so what, you, what I heard you saying is that for you might be how you interpret freedom is a process. How you find yourself in it's a process. So when we associate improvisation with, with freedom, we also consider not as an end product because then we're supposed to know what freedom is exactly. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So it is a process. And also what you touched upon is the dialogue between body and mind, body and mind in, in the moment, mm -hmm. making a decision. И то, чего ты еще коснулась, это диалог тела и ума в момент принятия решения. So you might view yourself differently when you're in the state of making a choice by saying that I don't think. It's a very interesting thing because I think we do think when we improvise, but differently. Я думаю, что мы думаем, когда импровизируем, но 
drugim obrazom. What is really important that we do the practice of improvisation, like we talk now about specifically movement improvisation, dance improvisation. So we do the practice, we physicalize, but we also practice of articulating and saying things. Вот поэтому вот не надо искать. Есть практика организации, то что мы делаем физически, но еще мы пытаемся говорить об этом, пытаемся описать этот процесс, то что мы делаем сейчас. Ну типа да, должны сделать так, наверное. Много медитировать. Или много импровизировать. Практика нужна. Sometimes our knowing is really framed by by certain styles of movement, or cultures, or where we live, or how we what we studied, or how we studied music or dance or art. It's influential, so I say it's framed. Right? <coughs> Yeah, which is really important, you know, you gain knowledge and then you have you have a stream. But what what is more important is to, <coughs> is to really sometimes see beyond those frames. So what is what it is for you? What what is what it, what is interesting for you to, to deal with and think about? So why is it an, it's, it's interesting to talk about this because all the artists and all those people who we could say wrote the history of <laughs> improvisation did the same did the same as we do now. Почему потому как важно говорить потому что все люди которых мы знаем которые как бы написали историю импровизации в принципе делали то же самое то же что и мы делаем сейчас. And the other thing that you all know that improvisation is present in our daily lives, 
It is some respect, if we look at the dance as an art form, it is somehow present in choreographies as well. In a very different way, in a very different sense, but it is. They're never the same performance happens. You know, one evening is like that, the other evening is like that. In some respect, it is present in the craft work. What makes it different is the way the choreographer and the dancers are thinking. And in that sense, you know, a movement improvisation has been present since a long, long time in history. И в этом смысле движенческая импровизация присутствует уже очень-очень долго в истории. We don't have to go much back, you know, to the Renaissance or something. We don't need to talk about that. Но, конечно, не нужно уходить очень далеко в эпоху Ренессанса. But we could look at the last century, the beginning, just to mention that if you know any of the pioneer modern dancers, that is a little Duncan, Rosen. If you know any of them, you know they they were exploring movement. So in some respect, they didn't call it improvisation what they did, but then they went with their feelings and they expressed their movements in different ways. Вот, но мы вернемся к ним там в последние столетия, в начало, и вот известные имена с городом Кам, которого я не знаю. Они, собственно, занимались тем, что они называли импровизацией, что они делали, они исследовали движение, то есть они исследовали, вышли с тем, что они исследовали свои чувства и потом проявляли их, так что они занимались импровизацией. И потом, позже, они стали школами, как вы знаете, Мэри Липпер и Лаван, если вы знаете что-то о танцевальной истории. Потом появились школы, мы слышали про Лабана, школу Лабана. So that's very influential now, these days, you know, the work that they established to analyze, you know, dance. И та работа, которую они делали по анализу танца, очень сильно влияет на то, что мы делаем сейчас. And they have a very, especially Лабан, is a very specific way to describe movement, to understand movement. Вот у Лаба, например, очень как бы точный способ описания, конкретный способ восприятия, описания и анализа движения. And now, and with them we do talk about Europe, and with Isadora and Ruth we do talk about the United States, America, although Isadora Duncan did come and influence a lot on the modern dance movement in Europe. Вот они были американцами, но и сюда приехала в Европу, очень сильно повлияла на европейское развитие тоже. Yeah. But what we do talk about now is really Western society, white culture. Ну то есть мы сейчас будем говорить, это в основном такая западная культура, западное общество. But it's not only present in these cultures. Yeah, there are really like folk dances that are danced in an improvised way. Maybe your own folk dance, which is like, you know, we are white <laughs> uh, society. But folk dance also has elements of improvisation. So there might be other cultures that are not Western. But that form of improvisation is very specific, you know, there are sets of steps and then they go with the music and then I just read that belly dance is like a very obvious improvised form of dance. Вот, но почему-то такие специфические формы танца, она даже записала для себя, что танец живота – это очень импровизационный танец, но там есть какие-то шаги и потом за музыкой ты идешь что-то. Or you do you know of tango, right? Do you want tango? Yeah. There are those steps, but it is improvised. You know, there is a long dance. Or break dancing. Break dance. An orchestra.
kinds of format of that. That's a huge world. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was at Impulse Dance Vienna. Have you heard of the big festival? Mm -hmm. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a huge festival existing over 30 years. And they, they do this dance battle. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's there also it happens other places, I don't know, but this was the first time that I that I saw it live dance. So what happens the title was Dance Against Music. That's already <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was it was thought, I mean, it had to be improvised, right? The, the DJ put the music and there was this, it was always solo, just one person. Mm -hmm. One person was doing it for 30 seconds. Go. And everyone could go, there was like 54 dancers signing up. And they had different selections, you know, like different, you know, just you dance and then da -da 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 -da, they come to the final of eight dancers. Uh -huh. В общем, и там, это похоже было соревнование, и там вот дошло 8 танцоров. Uh, and it was incredible that who stayed in the, the, the four, the last four, were mm -hmm. all men. <laughs> вот эти, а потом четыре, которые остались, это были мужчины. They were all um, dark color, most of them really black. <laughs> <laughs> вот, но они были, называется, афроамериканцы. And their basic movement language was some kind of either breakdance or hip hop or this how do you call there are all different kinds of <laughs> names for this disco <laughs> dance that I am not able to But they did contemporary dance art. No, and they did like contemporary. The ideas were were from you know, putting water on their head and swimming on the floor, taking clothes off and dancing naked and like incredible ideas. And the skill of their movement was extreme. Like extreme. Like extreme. And the creativity and the thinking process the creativity, in the moment it was just like mind blowing. I've never seen it. The process was just when I said it was like wow. I've been like working as improvisation and researching for over twenty years, and I saw these people like just skill to the to heaven. I don't know, incredible, incredible bodies, incredible minds, brave and risk taking, but they're just being spontaneous and just bring their, yeah, their whole self into the moment. So it's incredible the span of possibilities of improvisation where it is now. <coughs> the span, the span, oh, the span. And it's it's where there is dance, there is improvisation. <laughs> um, so there are many thoughts, but two I would like to point out. Is one is that you do your own search with influences and your interests, and you you make your own world with practice. Improvisation needs practice. Other, the other thought, uh, I don't know what, I, what was the other one, it will, it will come. <laughs> I just, I had this, you know, that this is a very, this, this is a very interesting question. You go on stage and it's like, improvisation, nothing comes. <laughs> Очень интересно, так бывает. У тебя куча идей, ты выходишь на сцену, и о, 
Все, это Okay, maybe a picture, maybe a sentence. If you don't speak English, it's also nice to look at pictures. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
within, within, within the field of improvisation. Mm -hmm. And the question is if it's an American form. Очень интересный вопрос по поводу контактной импровизации, какое место она занимает в импровизации и является ли это американской формой танца. There are some evidence of saying yes, of course it's an American form. It was born in the United States. Конечно, есть какие-то свидетельства того, что, ну, конечно, да, она родилась в Америке, американская культура. Yeah, but also it went through some some development and it has been taken very deeply and researched in in Europe. Но она как бы очень также глубоко развивалась в Европе. But of course, its origin connects to a particular time in the United States. Но конечно же, ее корни between a very specific group of dancers and people who were researching a very specific thing, a very specific physical thing. Среди очень определенных людей, которые занимаются очень определенными вещами, очень как бы физичными. Okay. The other thing that I thought to bring these books is to look at look at the names. Just who? То есть еще одна идея, с которой я привезла эти книги, это чтобы просто посмотреть на имена. Write write them down for yourself. Запишите их для себя. Because these people are not here because they represent a very like like something big. They just did their work. They just search for questions and find their answers or not. Эти люди представлены здесь не потому, что они ну, сделали какую-то значительную работу, а просто потому, что они делали свою работу, задавали вопросы, находили на них ответы. So why I said that this is what you do now, because we never know if one of you will be here, right? Or your students. То, что мы делаем здесь сейчас, потому что мы никогда не знаем, кто из вас окажется в этой книжке или, может быть, ваши студенты. So don't take things for granted. We practice something together, and then you do your own research. The same research. Мы можем сделать какой-то плакат, там напишем имена, вы себе их сфоткаете, и потом кого-то найдете, почитаете. Да? Каких? Ну, всех этих, которые она перечислила. Ну, зачем плакат? Ну, или перепишите, но просто, чтобы это запомнилось, чтобы было легче. Мы можем предложить piece of paper to write these names to, to see them and make a photo of them. Yes, I mean I I'm able to connect connect these people together where they are from and, and uh, when they worked more or less. Not everybody but um uh, I think there is only uh, never met Yvonne and Susanna Cotto and Simon Forty from these people. Maybe four people I never met, but I know that they work. And the others I did study with and I did meet. Like Atu He is actually not a dancer, but he was the director of the school where I studied. Вот тут есть люди, как бы, которые даже не танцоры, возможно, но вот Атун, она директор школы, в которой она училась. And he actually works in Russia. So these are interviews, and this is in the 90s. This is actually what you all can do right now if you don't know what to do. This is, this is art. This is Simone Forti's work from the 50s. She just wrote down her process and her interest. Making drawings, reflecting. And also it contains pieces of art. Like a, a movement piece of art that it's actually bought by one of the museums, which is very interesting. Performance art score has been bought by a museum in New York. Вот очень интересно, один музей в Нью-Йорке, он купил танцевальный перформанс. Как? То есть экспонат. I will show, we might be able to do it. А, 
Он купил как бы как структуру перформанса, как произведение искусства. И мы можем его сделать, я вам покажу. So that's like, yeah. And uh, this is more called the reader. The reader, improvisation reader, dance improvisation reader. Uh -huh. Which is different, different channel, like more historical, you know, postmodern, like all the studies, after seventies, eighties, nineties. And uh, and some people's specific work, like Anna Halpern, Simon Forte, Simon Forte, Ruth Sapura, who is doing action theatre, which is an improvised theatre. And uh, of course, there is about contact in um, Okay. Now it's my turn. <laughs> what would you like to know? I don't know what you know. Пауза это нормально. So what is democracy in a very primitive sense? That we put things from the hierarchical build up. Mm -hmm. It's not a column. Some the construction and its parts are not on top of each other, mm -hmm. like a like a building with rocks on top, but it, but they are next to each other. So there are all these there are all these things that we could we could call that this makes theater or performance art. These 
these elements that we can we can call movement is necessary, right? Form is necessary. It's in time. It's in space. <laughs> um, space, emotion, emotion, and story or narrative. So, in the postmodern thinking of democratizing theater as well as it allowed allowed people, performance artists and theater makers to to look at them. Ah, I think I'm I'm, I'm really interested in space. So I'm taking space to look at. Of course, every, of course, every other thing is happening. But I can take out an element and examine without the whole thing to collapse. So, when we, when we deal or talk or practice dance improvisation, we are, we are and also making choreography and peace and blah blah blah. We'll talk about improvisation. We also can research this and take the elements and see what's the most important, what's the what's the basic element or we call Mary overly calls it viewpoint. What is the viewpoint that you have mostly like the, the the strongest focus that you're reacting on or re resourcing when you're improvising? <coughs> so what drives you in your decision making process? And it's different for everybody, but when I'm dancing, I am I am concerned a lot with movement, right? What is movement? What is movement? Movement, I can now call it like on the Halprin's work, is kinetic awareness, right? Kinesthesia, kinesthetic sense. You if, if you start moving a little bit because we're getting eyelashes are going down and it's like a little bit like Esther is speaking too much. So it's like you're or, or you're getting stiff. It's like, let's move, just move, just move. Like no. You feel Maybe she didn't I mean I link the two, but it's a very link, it's like it's just you know kinesthetic sense of like Oh, I feel, I feel, I touch, I feel, I feel, I feel, Oh, my God, I was flying this morning. Okay, so you know, movement is like, it's a sense, it's a kinesthetic sense, it's from, it's, it's movement. Okay, so I need that, right? You can I do a leap across the space because I have been a ballet dancer and I love it. Right. <laughs> they ask me questions if I'm improvising, can I do a leap? Maybe connecting back to your question. I say, why not? I'm not doing it. I have to do it. You know, I don't like it, but if you do, leap. So movement, I need movement. And then, I need form. Okay, so take your form and be there. Just be in the form. Don't You breathe, right? Okay. But just form. I do have sensation, right? Of course, it speaks to me. Do another form. Поменяйте форму. I can't
examined form. Which is different than examined movement. What is interesting about form, the form is always there. Что интересно по поводу формы, так это то, что она всегда есть. You never spend enough time to read. Never spend enough time to examine. Amen. Никогда не достаточно, мы никогда не используем достаточно времени, чтобы ее исследовать, да? You can just go. You don't need a studio. Just you need a small room, at least two square meters. Вам даже студия для этого не нужна. Такая маленькая комната, два квадратных метра. And you can just spend hours. In the summer, you can just sleep for a few days. You can like examine it. You can look at it. Oh my God! You can't see it. I can study it, right? And I need no. more to study. No. <laughs> and of course, everything happens in um, in time. And also, it connects to not just the metronome time, but your inner time. Right? And of course, to dynamic, dynamic. dynamic. And then there is space. Now we have this room to dance, and we're going to be 30 some in this space. It's different than if there would be only five of you. Вот и вот у нас есть такая. Вот я понимаю, что у нас есть такая комната для практики, у нас будет 30 человек, и это по-другому, если бы у нас здесь было 5 человек, или если бы у нас здесь была вообще одна. Or to explore space when we are outdoor. Или там исследовать пространство, когда мы вообще наружу. So these four elements are always taken for granted and, and, and using it when we do dance in practice. We always have emotions to look at and source from. It's very interesting to discover your responses if you are a person who is interested in basing your responses on emotions, emotional states. My personal interest is that emotions are coming from movement. My personal interest is that emotions are coming from movement. The sensation of movement, <coughs> and then it's in the dialogue. But I can also just start from that. And their narrative or story is not that common that drives us, but it's not, you know, might not be the case for everyone. But that's you know story storytelling. Not really. I mean, maybe for you, but in terms of the the improvisation that we're going to deal with, we're not going to deal with this too much. Вот в импровизации то, что мы собираемся делать, вот с этими двумя мы будем не очень много с эмоциями и историями. Мы работали очень много в том, как мы будем работать с импровизацией. Also, because understanding of story or narrative is such a huge area. Потому что вообще понимание вот этой истории, повествования, это очень огромное. But what happens? But what happens? It's very nice how I chose the things that I put. Well, it's a particular issue. But this is story. But this is interesting. This was improvisation. I mean, I didn't know what I'm putting, what except that I changed the plan. But that's like stupid. But. But well, how we can actually look at the look at the story narrative? Actually, we can look at this as a score. 
Вот. То есть как мы можем рассматривать ну, рассказанные истории в данном случае как э, структуру? И коммуникация между людьми. Это не может быть не прямо. Это не так, что мы прям будем говорить друг с другом про эту аудиторию, о том, что происходит. Score, structure, narrative, story. That's all. That's, I mean, no, there are more, but this fact can be a little bit. То есть это вот все, что относится к этому, это там So actually, I have not been really answering your question, but it could be, it could be anything and everything. But <laughs> very interestingly, I come to one of the thing that I found when I was a little bit preparing myself. Which is a review on a book. That was written in 2010. Even they say that in ballet in the 14th century, you know, there has there has been movements that, you know, more of like spontaneous within a certain frame. But what they mention is the Renaissance, that it's actually improvisation had been recognized. And then we don't know because it's not written. Yeah. So the only thing we talk about what's written and they are really scholars. This, what is interesting about these days, that where we go back in history is pretty much the beginning of the uh, 20th century, right? This is how far we go, because mm -hmm. we have more written information of, of that era. We can research more, but there are really scholars that can go more back, because now in the 21st century, there is this interest and capability and being able to, to research and say, okay, so what is improvisation now in reflection of what happened in the history? So now the presence of improvisation is very different than already in the 90s. So it's presence, but it's also its possibility to research when it happened, and also a very particular interest on scholars, like researchers, or scientific researchers. So it's very interesting how it's in dance. Perhaps uh, I can translate this a little bit. Ah, we became a private dialogue. <laughs> no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe no, something. I think. I think some of the things I did say, but but I don't know. Кратце говоря, что импровизация была еще в четырнадцатом веке в балете, там тоже были моменты импровизации. Но на самом деле сказать сложно, потому что Основной массив каких-то исследований это начало 20 века, потому что вот только сейчас мы стали интересоваться импровизацией, так как мы сейчас интересуемся. Возник интерес к этой теме, поэтому возникли исследования. На самом же деле, говоря, она была раньше во времена Ренессанса. Okay, so what I just wanted to say that the, the Daniela Goldman, whose book I, whose book review I just I found recently. It's already reviewed, so I don't have the book. I don't know the book. I, I think it's very thick theory, so I'm not sure if I would be able to read. Very like dense, like not not like in, in terms of this, but. The, Information is very sick, you know, like, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. So it's just a review that I have. It's just a review that I found, and I found a book, and I think it's very beautiful, or very filled, not in the way of the book, but in the way of the book, but in the way of the book. So it, the title is, I want to be ready. The uh, title is, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Improvised dance as a practice of freedom. Improvisational dance as a practice of freedom. 
Or maybe the title is very interesting. Just uh, not knowing the book, I think it's a Chinese theory. Może nazwanie odpowiadające. But what's really interesting about just reading the review and get like a sparkle of inspiration and just the book. No, że to nie interesa, da że przeciągnąć ten przeczytać ten obszar i ten ten iskra wdechowienie. That it says that improvisation is a practice of freedom within constraints. Constraint means border, frame, border constraint. This is new way to say that improvisation is a practice of freedom in the realm of constraints. So she says freedom doesn't exist without borders or constraints. And I believe that freedom without borders or constraints does not exist. So she says, what we do is that we research our possibilities and process of freedom within that. Я надеюсь, что то, чем мы занимаемся, то, что мы практикуем, это бы свобода внутри рам. So if I'm a dancer who is trained in a particular way in terms of movement style and technique. То есть если я танцор, тренированный в рамках какой-то определенной техники или стиля. And become interested in finding my spontaneous movement. You mean it's not so interesting that it's more of a spontaneous dance? I begin to research the possibilities and the process of what what is there within this realm. Я начинаю исследовать и пытаюсь найти то, что возможно в рамках этой формы. And then if I Yeah. Well, we are stretching these values and changing the constraint. We are changing it. No, we are stretching it. As we are in this contemporary dance world, we 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 do have some kind of a seemingly understandable vocabulary, but we all speak a different language. We do. И мы все говорим на разных языках, но в общем-то у нас есть какой-то общий для понимания контент. Yeah. The other thing that was kind of coming coming to me now with the practice is that there are certain movement techniques that we're really discovering of how to like you mentioned awareness, right? And what the the что пришло ко мне в голову сейчас вы говорили об осознанности. So awareness and body mind work, and we call it somatics. These words: awareness, somatica, space, the whole mind. So it's discovering the moving self, the physical self, and the whole self from within. From within. Это исследование как бы своей физики и себя целиком изнутри. With different methods. They are guiding us to the essences of movement. Разными путями, которые ведут нас к ощущению эссенции, к ощущению движения, which is free from a very particular form. И они, конечно, свободные от какой-то очень конкретной формы. So the dance is you are born in the dance. You are born in the. You are not doing the dance. You become those dancers. You're not doing it. Когда мы не делаем танец, а мы рождаемся танцем. То есть вы становитесь этим танцем. It's a very particular view. Это такой очень конкретный взгляд. In contact, have you taken contact improvisation classes? Of contact. Raise your hand. Подумите, кто занимается контактной импровизацией. Have you done some exercises? Have you done some exercises? You might have heard your your teacher say. Возможно, вы слышали, как ваши учителя говорят: "Don't do it. Не делайте. Позвольте этому случиться." And then you did say, "What the hell are you talking about?" I don't know. What to do? What to do? Yeah, but that's a research, right? What is what is it? So coming to the essences of your whole And we are dealing with movement. We are not painting. But you can draw. Nobody is drawing. There was another amazing thing on YouTube. This is 
Facebook and YouTube is like, I feel I'm another generation, but still. So I saw, I saw a performance of a painter. And it was maybe you've seen it, it's spectacular. It's, it's incredible. There's a very dramatic music. And what you see is a huge um, canvas. Yeah, there were like, I don't know, a thousand people watching. So it was yeah. a, I don't know, a big audience. Some things that you did in this one man, I did a machine. Just you see this man with his back dancing, and what you see is uh, his hands. In, like I saw improvising on the canvas, like obviously doing the painting, mm -hmm. but yes. like improvising. Yeah, it was definitely about like constructed before. Ah, it was like, this, like this, and he was so physical. But he was he was very physical. And I, I'm sure the video was like a cut edited version. And gradually there was a face. A face became visible. Ah, и потихоньку там вырисовалось лицо. Was it turning? Like no. I saw something like this, but but it was turning. Yeah. Afterwards, it's, 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 it's. I mean, it's very, it's incredible that that he must have a huge knowledge about you know, and the painting is so big and he's so close. You know, how the hell does he so know? Where to put the eye? Right? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> So actually it's very interesting, it's so physical, but he thinks of painting, he thinks his his way of bringing it, so for us his movement. So what's very interesting is this so-called techniques of learning yourself from within in order to find the appropriate movement. Что интересно, это все эти техники, которые мы, мы с помощью которых мы изучаем себя изнутри, чтобы в нужный момент сделать нужное движение. Yeah. There's no one way that this could happen. И, конечно же, есть не один путь, как бы, которым все может случиться. Okay, that's very interesting, having two things and then I talk for so long and so many things and very eclectic. I'm sorry. I can be, so I'm, I don't have one particular way how I, how yeah, I study the composition. I, I, I work with many things. Yeah. But, but the thread or the, or the historical reference is really from the postmodern. Well, yeah. no. So that's my way of, of bringing improvisation. But that you can root it back, back there. Mm -hmm. and Собственно говоря, уже время осталось 10 минут до типа, начала класса. Можем сделать завершение, перерывчик минут на 15, на 10. Туалет, чай, там не знаю, что, что сделать. Да? Хотя бы три минуты, чтобы я просто увидела, что мне здесь вопросы или интерес, как бы к чему-то, что мы не знаем. Что вы думаете о времени, вот, например? Мне интересно, что ты думаешь о времени, magic tricks as I do every day like thing 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 and teacher comes and say and uh, every morning the first um, task was uh, he called it uh, to arrive like, to arrive here is day <laughs> and you uh, must like do everything you want but just to arrive to be here to be in the moment and uh, I was like split 
listen and he said no like there is time is is where it's gonna be you know so what time is now uh, when is the time to do something uh, for example i think that the uh, time is not exist at all there's no time because like uh, we're count counting seconds in here but what is the time in moon on jupiter on space out of earth and something like this but what is the time in uh, in dancing. Uh, I dance a lot and uh, uh, for one moment I think that uh, time goes so long and I have to and I can't do a lot of things things about a lot of things in one minute for, for this day. But in other moment time like is too short, it always suspends and like what do you think about time and in dancing and improvisation when is the right time? Or time doesn't exist, or it exists. What is your opinion about time? No time to talk about this. What I can say, you're in a fantastic pathway to discover. <laughs> what is time for you? How you are in time? And how, how you sense it? And uh, I think, there's just as the same, I don't think that there is a right thing to think about it. And there is, my way of thinking about it is, is very diverse. Like really diverse. Uh, because the way I live my life is very metronome. Structured. Like say, structured. And how when I dance, I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I would just say. I have my inner time, it doesn't matter ah, if it's a minute or if the metro yeah. time doesn't matter, doesn't exist. When I frame a class of a 90 minutes or a two and a half hour, being out of time needs to be within two and a half hours. <laughs> Very interesting concept. Она когда в рамках класса должна вложиться в эти 90 минут, это очень как это противоречиво у нее получается, потому что она как бы не времени, но в 90 минут надо вложиться. Your sense of time through the class will be very different than the others, and you will say, "Oh my God, that was really two and a half hours." My God. And another person would say, "Fuck, I was bored." Во время класса ты совсем другое, ты скажешь, типа, ой, я сегодня это прошло два с половиной часа, ты скажешь, блин, я же так, как уже типа. Так что для каждого это так по-разному. It's also very interesting when we work with deep state, deep state of being like. Это очень интересно, когда мы работаем с таким состоянием глубокого погружения. When you're in it, you don't sense the time, but as a person who leads it, I have to, I have to structure and I have to move on. So I give you a certain metronome time for your inner experience. И вот когда вы там внутри, то конечно у вас нет времени, но человек, который ведет это, я должна давать вам это ощущение времени. Sometimes you go and you are you're watching an improvisation and can say that. That was too long, you know, as a viewer. Like, mm -hmm. that was the, and then other times you say that that had a very interesting timing. Something worked. When you're in the process of impro improvisation, especially performing improvisation, mm -hmm. Когда вы находитесь в состоянии импровизации, особенно выступая, импровизируя, вам нужно постоянно when to do what, how long. Вам нужно постоянно вот это вот развивать свое собственное чувство, на что сколько времени тратить. So, it's just the same thing to take this out and examine. 
То есть это точно так же вот ты берешь это и исследуешь. Yeah. So... It wasn't a question. No. I would no. like to yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think it is a question. It's in some sense. No. But in a long run, a friend of mine who we studied and uh, we were collaborating for many, many years since our studies in Holland, he always reminds me that don't forget that whenever we begin study like this, uh, time is working for us. It's a very interesting thing to think about. Time is working for us. Right? Like we live a life that's like a lot of information into genetics. This is how we live. Mm -hmm. When we do this kind of the awareness work and listening and arriving in the studio, you probably say that a lot. And it's, so it's like time is working for us. So it's okay if something doesn't happen now. It can happen in five years from today. Mm -hmm. Yes, вместе со времен, когда они еще учились в школе. И он часто говорит, что когда мы делаем вот такой вид работы, когда мы работаем с осознанностью, когда мы там, берем время на то, чтобы пребывать в это пространство, время работает на нас. То есть это нормально, когда что-то не происходит сейчас, это может произойти через пять лет. In these times, what we live, when it's everything is about immediacy. Yeah. Immediacy. Oh, okay, I have, I have to know who came to do this. I have, I have, now, I have to know. Yeah. So immediacy, immediacy, now. Это очень интересно, мы как бы в наши времена, в которых мы живем, когда все быстро, быстро, быстро все надо делать, и всегда нужно все просто немедленно. Так, кто там такой? И ты же Холмс, не должна это прямо сейчас. I mean, in some sense, at the, the moment is very precious. It's precious. No, в каком-то смысле, в каждый момент очень ценно. You made your time free to come here. It's precious. Вы освободили свое время, чтобы прийти сюда. Это очень ценно. That's the most important now. You are not doing something else. But то, что происходит сейчас, самое важное. Вы же не занимаетесь ничем другим сейчас. But we should not forget that if you don't get now, maybe you have expectations that it might come later. And understanding, so findings or nothing. Понимаешь, что возможно, у нас были какие-то ожидания по поводу того, что сейчас произойдет. Оно не произошло, но возможно произойдет позже, только понимание придет. Okay, I mean, whatever comes, you know, keep on writing, <laughs> keep on making notes, keep on things not making sense, it doesn't have to, things doesn't have to make sense, it's not about writing down what we do, it's, or you can do that as well, but it's just really nice to, to, to have some extra, because it's always useful, and it's great to have these drawings, because she had the pen and the paper, and now it's in the book. It's not because of that, but you never know. It's it's good, and you might find questions after the class. You might find emotions that, like, why did I come? Uh, and, um, and then you're gonna see. It is your <coughs> process. It's your process. So start the process. Let's continue to write. If it's a process, if it's something that's going to be written in your head, it's not necessary to have any kind of sense. It's not necessary to have any kind of sense. Но это ваше собственное исследование. Что-то появится, какие-то мысли появятся у вас после класса. Возможно, у нас появятся чувства, типа, когда я пришел. Но, в общем, это ваша работа, это ваши рисунки, которые, возможно, потом будут создаваться в книгах. После первого класса с Эстер, это первый класс, где я что-то записывал, и последний, правда. After your first class he took, uh, it was uh, the first class he made notes, but also the last one. Вот, нет, ну, 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 нет, 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 мне это очень помогло. Через два года меня пригласили в Новосибирск, где я должен был провести большой семинар по контактной импровизации в 8 дней.
In two years, I was invited to Novosibirsk to give a very big workshop for eight days. Вот. И я тогда поднял эти записи, и по записям я, собственно, и проводил. Что-то я уже понимал, но, в общем, это была основа. I had some understanding till that moment, but still I took all that my notes and uh, arranged all the workshop according to that. Now it's really nice, I mean, it's a resource, it's for yourself, it's your work, it's like... Но это, это будет вашим источником, то, что вы сейчас запишете, это будет The other important thing is, whatever we will do here, it's all here and now. Like, we don't have to mystify improvisation and put it out there, that if I do this, I will get there. I don't know where we're going to get, you know, where we want to get is here. Yeah, like, so like, it's not a big thing, I don't know. То, что мы будем делать, имеет будет иметь значение для здесь и сейчас. Я не говорю, что мы будем делать что-то такое великое, что там должно нас привести там куда-то, типа сейчас это сделаем, а потом. Спасибо.